Yo, yo, boys and girls, it is your boy Diversity here, back with another video for the channel. I hope you're having a great day, wherever you are, wherever you're watching this video from. I hope you're having a smashing day, wherever you are, people. The light's on. You know what it means, people. I don't need to tell you anymore. You know what it means. Tuesday night match vlog is here. Best time for a vlog is on the match nights. South End on the road up to Notts County tonight. Let's get into the action. But before we can get too far in today's video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel down below. It's free to do. It takes two seconds of your time and you get to see when all the latest content comes out over here on the channel. We've had so many people as of late subscribing, messaging. It's all been lovely, people. Let's keep it rolling now. Notts County then. It's going to come around eventually. The team, top of the table, 80 points. Notts County are on fire, people. They have scored the most goals in this league. And with players like Macaulay Longstaff with 30 goals. Adam, I believe it's Adam Chickson at left back slash left winger role, nine goals. Ruben Rodriguez, 13 goals. It's a team scoring goals for fun. It is a monster to come up against. But how do you deal with this, people? I'll tell you how. The best defensive team in the league turns up to your ground tonight. Southend hold the best defensive record. Yes, Casper Lapata might not be in the squad tonight. He's a bit 50-50. Kevin May was saying going into this, but he starts, or even if he doesn't start, we hold that record. It's something to maybe put Notts County on the back foot a bit. Think these guys can defend. We need to be on the bare front foot. And Blues need to do what they do good. Get the ball down, pass it quick, start from the back, end up in attack and put it in the back of their net. The spirit of the squad at the minute is on such a high with all the news going around about unpaid wages. The squad is on fire. Let's be fair on that. I'm heading up to Notts County now. It's going to be a good night, boys and girls. Let's get out there. Come on, you blues! Goals, 
good pull from an off. challenge coming to the top of the table team and they've shown their quality long start goal I think it was Austin the number eight on the back diving header goal it's just hard to watch blues we're just not looking at attacking we do when we do go on the attack it's always the same down the left wing to bridge and bridge is heavily marked they know about bridge they talked about him in a press conference this week saying they've got to keep him tight they've got to close him down guess what predictable it's been closed down Hyde does he understand what onside is yeah. We need to stop that, we need to go for the second half, throw caution to the wind, just say, you know what, go for it, bring on Sander, bring on Powell, and throw it all caution to the wind, see if we get it, if we do go for a smash and grab draw, need to step up and take our big time.
matters in this game is fine lines. If we score that, would be on our side. The momentum would be with us. And all back at Carnell, just around the corner from the ground. Actually, got quite lucky with this parking spot. One of the stewards at the ground tonight pointed this right to me. So, if you ever watch this video, thank you very much, mate. But yeah, full time, <laughs> 4 0 loss. Yeah, I'll say that enough for the night, and I'll say it for the final time now. They're top of the league for the reason. Coming up here was always going to be a big ask, not just of us, but of any team. The way Notts County play fluent football, they know where each other are making their runs, the pass is going to, where the ball's going to end up. It, they're, yeah, if I had to make a comparison, they're the stockport of last season. They're going to go up, I'd say, in first spot. That's I'm going to be pretty certain on that prediction. They are a very good side. And t we didn't really have much of a chance. When we did get forward, it's like at half-time, it was just play to bridge. And they knew exactly what our game was, to go out wide and send the ball in. They had two men going out to our wide player. He couldn't get the cross in. It was a long night. We had chances. The support, I'm going to say, was magnificent from us. I'd like to say Notts fans, you'd agree that our support was probably one of the better ones you've had up here. Maybe not, but that's just a biased opinion. We went sung all the way through, given the situation the club's in. You know what? Fair play to us for coming up here and not getting smashed as hard as some other teams. But let's go wrap it up tonight, people. I've now got the long drive back down south. Hopefully this vlog should be up somewhere tonight. It depends if I crash when I get home. But I'd like to thank you all for tuning into the channel again and for your continued support of the channel. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and peace.